Hello everyone, my name is Jitendra Bhafna. I am a senior solution architect. In this video, we will going to see AnyPoint API governance. So recently, MuleSoft has introduced a API governance as a part of AnyPoint platform. So let's understand what is API governance and how to set up a API governance in your AnyPoint platform. So let me go to next slide. Let's understand what is AnyPoint API governance. So MuleSoft has recently introduced the API governance as a part of AnyPoint platform that enables you to apply a governance rule set to your API that ensures the API consistency and provide default several rule set such as the top 10 OWAPs API security, AnyPoint API best practices, open API best practices governance rule set. So MuleSoft has introduced API governance. So with that API governance, they have introduced some set of uh, rule set which can be applied on your open API spec or RAML to ensure that your API has been designed with a with the AnyPoint API best practices. You have considered all the security aspects in your API and like uh, you have taken care of care of your open API best practices basically. So API governance will ensure the API design across the enterprise is consistent. It is designed with the API best practices and guidelines and ensure API security and improve the quality of API. So with the API governance, you can ensure that whatever API you are designing across the enterprise is consistent and it is designed with the best practices and the guideline. So basically it's a, it's a kind of automated OAPI governance. So we will going to see in the demonstration how to set up a API governance for your RAML or open API spec. So this, so by default, uh, MuleSoft uh, provided uh, this particular rule set, which is any point best practices, authentication security best practices, HTTPS enforcement, open API best practices, OWASP API security top 10 2019 checklist, and some required example. So here, uh, there are some links. So basically like any point best practices. So what are the rules uh, in, as a part of any point best practices? What are the rules as a part of authentication security best practices? So like by default, MuleSoft provide a six uh, rule set and which each like rule set, there can be n number of rules. So you can like uh, go to those links. I will going to show you how you can navigate to those links. So finally, once uh, you publish the API to any point exchange, it will automatically uh, generate the report which will tell like uh, what are the things has been passed and what are the things has been filled and it will also tell you like you know exactly where where is the error like we're going to see that report also what are api governance benefits it enable developer to apply the governance rule set at a design time so basically like uh, you can uh, like uh, enable or you can scan your o, o api at a design time only so when you are publishing api to any point exchange it will automatically scan your api okay and it will ensure that whether your api is conformant or it's a non-conformant it produces a consistent api specs across the enterprise improve api quality and security api design with any point best practices and open api best practices ensure design time conformance and reduce the top 10 OWASP security risk so basically if you see in OWASP, there's a top 10 security which include like sql injection php injection there's a mass assignment so those kind of things can be taken care using this api governance so let me go to the demo so let me go to any point platform so in any point platform, I have a design center. I will going, I already created one open banking uh, RAML specification. Let me create new, I will import that file. I will say banking API and I have already downloaded that file. Let me upload it. So this is my file and I will import as an API specification. Okay, it is importing. So let's wait until it's importing. Okay, now what I can do, I will publish this to any point exchange. So I can give a version number and I can say V1. I will say lifecycle state, it is stable. I can say publish to exchange. So I have published my API to any point exchange and we will go to any point exchange and we will see what happened to api so i am waiting for my api to get published into any point exchange it is x it is published to any point exchange let me go to any point exchange so here if you see uh, basically like 
uh, you can see this is the stable version like you know so we have a multiple development stable deprecated but if you see your api is not validated why because we haven't created api governance profile so like to enable a api governance on the top of your api you need to create a api governance profile so right now when i have published my api into any point exchange it is not validated so for that what i have to do i have to go to api governance so this is the recently introduced component so you can see it here api governance i can click it here i can click on new profile and here i can say mule api governance you can give any name demo and you can provide some kind of description if you want then i will say next and what kind of rule set you need to uh, like associated with this particular profile for now i will select everything authentication best practices https enforcement require example oauth stand security open api best practices i will select everything if you want to filter anything so my i want like to perform like i want to enable the api governance on the rest api so you can select it here and apart from that like if you have like if you want to select any tags or anything you can apply on that also okay and you can select the category so right now i will keep everything default and i want to perform this api governance on the rest api specification so let me select next and i will keep everything as it is then i will say next then i can say create okay it's simple like you can say create so it will create uh, your api and like you know so it will create your api here so you can see it here api has been created and it also like let me go back to my uh, design center and i have open banking api let me publish this again i publish to exchange One point one zero one. Let me publish it. Okay, it's published. Let me go to exchange. Let me close this. Okay, so still you can see version one point zero. I will go with you no. Know, so let me refresh it. it's still not validated so let's wait so let me go back to my open api specification it should get validated okay, let me go to 1.0 okay let's wait while it might be validating API governance and let me check yeah you can see now the status is non conformant your now api has been validated against your rule set you can see your oauth api security got failed your open api best practices got failed required example got failed any point best practices got failed it only pass a uh, two rule set which is https enforcement and auth authentication security best practices right now i can go to my api governance i can refresh this page and here you can see everything like you know you can see like uh, so you have one api so here you can see one api which is non conformant basically and if you click on this api you will see this api here you can expand this and you can see like any point best practice is filled we have a 47 violation like https is passed authentication security best practice passed zero violation open api best practice there are seven violation so if you click on one of them it will list down all the error for response code it is asking to use the content type header so those kind of thing always include the example in the request and response format use schemas or data type in the specification to determine the format of the response so those kind of thing if you go to uh, oauth stand security failure let me go there 
so implement the schema based response validation it will tell each and every other define the strict pattern for a string parameter so it's saying like whenever you are defining any date any field of type string you need to define the pattern for that okay so like you are restricting uh, what kind of data can come in basically so those kind of things so you can define the patterns and all those things it is also saying you need to define 429 status like so those kind of things you can see it here basically so this is very handy tool so like with this tool like you can ensure that like you have taken care of all the security aspects the api design with the best practices you know and main thing like you are ensuring that your api is consistent across the organization right so here you can see all the error I, I want to show you one more thing like you know so if let me go to new profile let me create something i will say next if you want to see what are the rules available in any point best practices you can click it here view details in exchange so it will list down all the rules so what are the rules what are the warnings you can see it here so if you click on this particular rule so it will like you know tell exactly what that rule means basically so similarly you can go with authentication security best practices you can see all the rules right and also like uh, you can also easily integrate with any ci cd pipeline also so it provide uh, any uh, like you can integrate with the ci cd pipeline using any point cli so mulesoft has already added a cli capability for api governance also okay so yeah, that's all about you know your api governance i hope you like the video if you like the video please click on like and subscribe button thanks for watching